Welcome to the Auto Moto Freak Channel. Greetings to all viewers, subscribers, supporters. So to the point, the Toyota 2.4 2GD FTV engine is a modern, four-cylinder, common rail direct injection turbo diesel engine that forms part of Toyota's GD engine series. Introduced around 2015, it replaced the older KD series like the 2KD FTV and is primarily found in Toyota's IMV platform vehicles, including the Toyota Hilux, Toyota Innova, Toyota Fortuner, and Toyota Hyus. It was designed with a strong focus on improved thermal efficiency, fuel economy, and reduced emissions compared to its predecessors. History and versions. The 2GD FTV is part of Toyota's Global Diesel GD engine family developed with economy with superior thermal efficient combustion, SDEC technology. This includes features like thermo swing wall insulation technology, TSWIN, and silica reinforced porous anodized aluminum, CRPA, on the pistons to reduce cooling loss and achieve a high thermal efficiency of up to 44%. It is a straight four, inline, four DOHC double overhead camshaft engine with 16 valves. It features a variable nozzle turbocharger, VNT or VGT, and an intercooler for optimized boost and performance. Power and torque variations, depending on market and application. Common output, around 110 kilowatts, 148 horsepower, 150 PS, at 3,400 RPM and 400 Nm, 295 LBFT, of torque at 1,600 to 2,000 RPM, typically when mated to a six-speed automatic or manual transmission. In some applications, e.g., certain Innova models, it might have slightly different outputs like 110 kilowatts, 147 horsepower, and 360 Nm, 265 LBFT, of torque. There aren't major mechanical versions like intercooled slash non-intercooled, as with older engines. Variations are primarily in tuning for different power outputs and emission regulations across markets. Review and Opinions The 2GD FDV generally receives positive reviews for its Fuel efficiency A significant improvement over previous generations, making it a more economical choice for daily driving and long trips. Torque Delivery Offers strong low-end torque, which is crucial for the workhorse nature of vehicles like the Hilux aiding in hauling and off-roading. Refinement. Compared to older four-cylinder diesels, it's generally quieter and smoother, enhancing comfort. Durability. Inherent Toyota design while complex, it's built with robust components designed for longevity, maintaining Toyota's reputation for reliability. Emissions compliance. Meets stricter modern emission standards due to its advanced systems. Some opinions note that while it's capable, for maximum towing or very heavy-duty applications. The larger 2.8L 1GFDV might be preferred due to its higher power and torque figures. Advantages Excellent fuel economy A key selling point, reducing running costs. Good power and torque Provides ample power for most applications, including light to moderate towing and off-road use. Modern emissions control Equipped with DPF and SCR Add blue slash def to meet stringent environmental regulations. Refined operation, quieter and smoother than its predecessors. Compact and lightweight. Being a four-cylinder, it allows for better packaging. Timing chain, utilizes a timing chain, which is generally considered maintenance-free for the life of the engine, unlike timing belts that require periodic replacement. Disadvantages, complexity of emission systems. The DPF and SCR systems, while necessary for compliance, add complexity and potential for issues. DPF clogging can occur with frequent short trips that don't allow for proper regeneration cycles. Sensitivity to fuel quality. Like all modern common rail diesels, it is highly sensitive to contaminated or poor quality fuel, which can lead to expensive injector and fuel pump damage. Potential for dusting issues. Some Toyota airbox designs, in the vehicles it's fitted in, have historically been prone to allowing fine dust past the filter in extremely dusty environments, which can cause premature engine wear or issues with the mass airflow, MAF sensor. 
Toyota has claimed to address this in newer models. Potential for injector issues slash carbon buildup. While generally reliable, fuel injectors can develop issues over time, and carbon buildup in the EGR valve is a possibility common to many modern diesels. Turbo lag. On some models, while the VNT helps, some users might still experience a slight turbo lag, especially compared to very responsive gasoline engines. Faults and breakdowns. While the 2GED FTV generally upholds Toyota's reliability standards, some common concerns or reported issues include diesel particulate filter DPF problems. This is the most widely reported issue. Incomplete regeneration cycles due to short trip driving can lead to a clogged DPF, reduced performance, increased fuel consumption, and warning lights. Forced regeneration or professional cleaning slash replacement may be necessary. Toyota has issued software updates and, in some cases, hardware changes for vehicles built from July 2020 to improve DPF operation. Fuel injector issues, where or clogging of injectors can lead to misfires, rough idle, reduced fuel efficiency, and smoke. Contaminated fuel is a primary cause. EGR valve carbon buildup. Carbon deposits in the exhaust gas recirculation, EGR, Valve can hinder its operation, leading to performance issues and increased emissions. Regular cleaning can mitigate this. Air intake slash dusting issues. As mentioned, some vehicle air intake designs have been susceptible to allowing fine dust to bypass the air filter, potentially affecting the MEF sensor and leading to engine wear. Glow plug failures. Like other diesels, glow plugs can fail over time, impacting cold starting. Oil leaks. Though less common, any engine could develop oil leaks, requiring seal or gasket replacement. Fuel consumption. The 2GD FTEV is known for its good fuel economy. Official figures, e.g., WLTP combined cycle for Hilux, are often in the range of 6 to 8 L 100 km. Real world driving will vary, but owners typically report figures in the range of 8 to 10 L 100 km which is excellent for a pickup truck or SUV of its size. This translates to approximately 23.5 to 29.4 MPG US or 28.2 to 35.3 MPG Imperial on average. Timing. The Toyota 2GD FDV engine uses a timing chain to drive its camshafts. This is a significant advantage as timing chains are generally designed to last the lifetime of the engine and do not require periodic replacement like timing belts, leading to lower long-term maintenance costs and increased reliability. Oil. Oil type. As a modern common rail diesel with a diesel particulate filter, DPF, the 2G DFTV requires low ash or low saps, sulfate ash, phosphorus, sulfur, synthetic diesel engine oil. Look for specifications like ACA C2 or C3, which are designed to protect DPFs from clogging. Viscosity. Common recommended viscosities are SAE 5W, 30, or 0W, 30, depending on climate and regional specifications. Always check your vehicle's owner's manual for the precise recommended oil specifications. Oil capacity. The engine oil capacity is typically around 6.0 to 7.0 liters, including the filter, but again, consult your manual for the exact figure for your specific model. Change interval. Toyota's recommended oil change interval is generally every 10,000 kilometers, approximate 6,000 miles or 12 months, whichever comes first. However, for vehicles operating in harsh conditions, heavy towing, dusty environments, Frequent short trips, extensive idling, shorter intervals, e.g. 5,000 kilometers, are often recommended by experienced mechanics to preserve engine and DPF health. Versions. As mentioned, there aren't fundamentally different mechanical versions of the 2 GDFDEV in widespread production beyond minor tuning differences for various markets and emission regulations. Its primary applications are Toyota Hilux. 8th generation and onwards. Toyota Innova, 2nd generation slash Innova Cristo onwards. Toyota Fortuner, 2nd generation onwards. Toyota Hyus, 6th generation onwards. The 2GED 
FTEV is a strong and efficient engine that marks Toyota's progression in modern diesel technology, offering a good balance of power, fuel economy, and refinement for its class. Its main challenges relate to the complexities of modern emission control systems, emphasizing the need for proper maintenance and fuel quality. Thank you for watching the video, and I invite you to subscribe to the Automoto Freak channel. Greetings to everyone, and see you in the next episode. See you soon.